Good morning, y'all. I just went over and um, got the little Samsung. I don't know if you can see. It's working right now because I went over to Verizon and they showed me how to totally um, reset everything to the factory settings. So whoever gets it, it's going to be like a new phone and you can set it up any way you want to. Now, y'all, I'm going to talk to you about, and it's kind of goes along a little bit with the um, dating thing and um, this gentleman just pulled up in a van and he's looking at me like I'm nutso which is not too far off but anyway um, I'm sure all of y'all had have heard of maybe watched or at least seen commercials about The Bachelor and or The Bachelorette or the bachelor in paradise now mary joe and i call these shows our guilty secret because really y'all women our age and she's younger than me she's about 58 now i think sorry mary joe if i got that wrong but anyway um you wouldn't think that something like this would appeal to us now i'm going to give you a little overview for those of you who don't know what the show's about Let's take The Bachelor, for instance, because he's the guy that's on there right now. They pick this guy to be The Bachelor, okay? Usually, he's a pretty good-looking, um, I don't know, you know, charismatic kind of guy. Now, some of them are, some of them aren't, but you have to understand that I'm judging them through these 63-year-old eyes. But they've had many, I think, 22 seasons. Now, I haven't seen all of them, but most of them. And when my hearing was better, Mary Jo and I used to watch them together. So what they do is they pick the dude or the gal, as the case may be, and then they scour the country. And they have people that apply and then they pick supposedly the best ones they go to their hometowns they interview them ask lots of questions about their lives and then they narrow it down to i think 27 contestants or maybe 29 i'm not sure so then these women start showing up at this big big house and i forget whose house it's actually owned and lived in by somebody but they let the bachelor i'm sure at a premium uh lease their house and use it for the kind of home base so all these women or men come in and then the bachelor or the bachelorette has dates with these people and some of them are group dates some of them are single dates and they go to all these interesting places and it's all a big fantasy you guys if you're really truly looking for love don't you want to go to Home Depot with these people? Don't you go, do you not want to go to Walmart or the library or um, the grocery store? I mean, do you always want to be running off to Paris to look at the Eiffel Tower? That's not any way I'd be picking somebody, y'all. And, <laughs> and how can I say anything about it after picking six husbands? Okay, so we got to get past that. But anyway, it's a very interesting show, and it has kind of gotten uh, to be addictive for me. And like I said, some of these people are uh, nice, interesting people, and some of the contestants are too. But I'm telling you, some of these contestants are crazy. I mean, these women are just out and out evil sometimes. So the whole point of the show is that the bachelor or the bachelorette goes through all these people and they eliminate them and these people have to go home when they're eliminated and sometimes one or two go home after the very first night so anyway it's at the bachelor or bachelorette's discretion when these people go home um so this is really what i want to talk about y'all these are young 25, 28, 
32 year old people and the contestants that come on are in the same age group or typically at least with the bachelor the contestants tend to be younger so that's an overview you guys now here's my thing it really pisses me off that this these two shows the bachelor and the bachelorette are all about young people what about us what about us senior citizens would we not like to have this horrendously beautiful vacation opportunities i mean they go to spain they go to italy they go to uh, France, they go, I mean, they go everywhere, and they do all these wonderful things. Why are they excluding us? I think that's discrimination, y'all, really. And I wish I could talk to some of these producers or whoever it would be that you could talk to and say, you know what, I know y'all do these shows, to get these millions and millions of views and you make money off of this. Well, do you know how many baby boomers are out there? Do y'all know that? Blah. Do some research. Google it. You would have a ton of viewers. And not just the baby boomers. I bet those younger people, the millennials, I think they call them now, would get a kick out of watching some senior citizens with their canes and their walkers. <laughs> I'm not laughing at anybody that has to use these tools, y'all. I'm sure my time is coming. But, I mean, wouldn't it be interesting? We're seasoned. We've learned some hard lessons. I just think it would be such a hoot to have a senior bachelor and a senior bachelorette show. Mary Jo and I have talked about this. It's crazy. I believe, y'all, truly, and I'm not kidding, I believe that would go off the charts. You know how videos go viral? And my best description of that is when somebody puts up a little video and they never intend it for, you know, to get a huge audience, and it just goes into millions and millions of views. By the way, those people end up making a hunk of money. But y'all weigh in on this. Now, I would never uh, be a contestant but I sure would like to be behind the front line and help them out producing shows like this. I think it'd be awesome. I mean, what more entertaining TV could you have? I mean, we're not going to be shooting anybody or blowing people up with a bomb or a hand grenade. But don't y'all think that would just be hysterical and fun? So y'all let me know what you think about that. Now, if you have not ever watched any of these and you have Hulu or Netflix or whatever, you can probably find some of those seasons. Even, yeah, it's too late. I know they come on Hulu because I, I watch them. When you watch something on Hulu, they put it out on Friday, but it's not available till Saturday. Or they put it out on Monday, it's not available to us until Tuesday. And that's fine with me because you get to go right through it with no commercials. But y'all think about that. Wouldn't that be a fun show to watch and see which of these people hook up? Now, they have this thing called a fantasy suite, y'all. And toward the end of the show, there's usually three women standing or three men standing. And the host, Chris Har Harrison, I think that's his name. He's kind of cute. Anyway, he invites them that if they want to, they don't have to stay in the same uh, in separate rooms at this big hotel, motel, whatever they're at, chateau, whatever. 
they can stay together in what's called the fantasy suite. Now, y'all, some of these people have gotten it on in those fantasy suites, but a few of them are smart enough to know that you don't have sex with somebody that you've just met, and especially somebody who's going to be having it with two or three other people. Now, that is totally disgusting, but it is a uh, one aspect of the show and yeah they could change it up a little bit for us seniors it doesn't have to be exactly the same but i'm a little pissed y'all they're discriminating against us at least that's my humble opinion okay and I'm entitled to my opinion, and y'all are entitled to your opinions, but let's be nice, y'all. I'm going over to see my um, psychologist today, and I have to remember to ask him to write me a letter for Hazel. Now, I've had uh, letters from psychiatrists before for me to have a companion animal for years and years. And most of y'all know, whether you've gotten a letter from your doctor or not, our pets are therapy. They calm us. They keep us company. They make us get up off our butts and get a little bit of exercise. So I'm going to get a new letter so that if, by some miracle, I get into these apartments over here, then I will be able to take Hazel. Now, if they, they are no pet community, which is unusual in a senior community, and actually it's getting pretty unusual in any apartment community. Most all of them take pets now. But the low-income apartment communities, at least the family ones, tend to have a no-pet policy. So, I asked them when I called them, and I've called them two or three times to get clarification on some stuff. And there are some things that cannot be clarified until you actually go in for a visit. Now, Terry will get into this community with no problems, no problems. His credit is fine, uh, his income fits the criteria, his age fits the criteria, which it's 62 and over for the senior part of their communities. So anyway, um, they did tell me that they have a no pet policy and if we have an animal we have to have a letter from our doctor psychologist or psychiatrist now I'm hoping that my uh, psychologist Dr. Torres will be able to provide that letter for me if not I'll have to make an appointment with the psychiatrist who will be able to do that it used to be that doctors, uh, your medical doctors did it. I had a letter for Zip many years ago, um, but now they've gotten uh, pickier about who does it and why. I could not live in a community if I could not have Hazel. It would be back to van living for me because I can't do without her. She's my baby girl. She wasn't happy when I left her this morning, but I had to because it's going to be hot today, y'all. Now, Caravan Carolyn sent me a message yesterday and said that they are going back to Yuma for a while. That's about mm, three hours from me. It's about $40, 45 round trip on gas money. I'm probably not going to do it, y'all. Too many financial obligations at this point. But um, y'all do something fun today. Making this video was a lot of fun, and I cannot wait to hear what you guys say. And I hope you men will chime in too. You guys are so awesome about talking about issues, and I cannot believe how many views I got on the dating thing. It was awesome. I loved hearing from y'all and how you felt and what you uh, 
of what your thoughts are on it. And it was awesome. And I just appreciate y'all so much. And you know you are my friends and you are my family. And some of y'all say that when you watch my videos, it's like sitting down with somebody, a good friend, drinking coffee, and just talking. And when I talk to y'all, that's how I feel. Thanks, y'all. I'll talk to you later. Bye.